2201. Good luck, Luigi. All right, well, welcome everybody. This is uh, Disney's Hearts and Untamed uh, on GameCube. It's also on PS2. And this uh, this is my uh, my very first uh, speed game, and I'm I'm very excited to to show this game off. Are those ready on time? And we're going to start in three, two, one, go. All right, so the majority of this run is going to be uh, movement optimization. Starting here, we jump over a bunch of things. There's a cutscene we unfortunately can't skip because it's within the level. Luckily, there's not too many of these. Just keep going on. And what you see me do here is jump while I'm sliding here. This is called rail jumping. And doing that uh, moves you forward a lot faster than... Oh, well, that did not go according to the plan. Coming up. Another hey, in-game cutscene. Check it out, Tarzan. What do you have? I don't know, but it's freaking me out. Here, you take it. What am I supposed to do with yeah, it? Yeah, to find the real. Me, but they're all over the place. The reels are the main collectibles of this game. Uh, this game consists of three areas of three levels each. And to access the final third of the game, we need 45 reels out of the 50 that are in the game. And the route for this any percent run is uh, is based around that. We have some more rail jumping. What we also need to do is free these uh, these baby monkeys out of the cages and bring them back to their mothers. There's one last in-game cutscene. What's going on? Well, who's responsible for this? I'm trying to find out. The other these monkeys are being trapped in, in cages, and we're we're gonna try to find out why that is. So I'm jumping and throwing the spear here because the animation for that is a lot faster. It's the same what I tried to do when I was trying to grab spears. It was jumping and punching in the air. As long as you're within a, within a space that where if you were on the ground you would grab the spears, you'll grab them uh, in midair, and you won't get you won't have any animation for grabbing them. We just grab that wheel. Oh, here's an enemy, and he's dead. Normally, if you don't throw a spear at him, uh, you enter a button mashing mini game, which wastes a lot of time. So we just throw a spear and kill him instantly. <laughs> Throwing spears is also a good way to break open cages. And we jump here to avoid getting hit. Attack through that. Here's some more rail jumping coming up. And there's the second monkey brought back to his mother. A little bit of an overhead section here. Five. Rail jumping mostly works when you're sliding downward. Right, Got to make sure not to miss that one. If we move ourselves to the top right here, we can send all the way over there. Hey. Up here's a pretty tight rail jump. Jump very early. Right, we're going to jump off the rail very late to just go forward, grab the reel and go. That's all three monkeys delivered. Is she gonna be damage boosting through this? And that's the first level.
Right, there's a cutscene we skip. Okay, what happens in the cutscene is Turk falls in the water, but we got a bunch of, we're, we're gonna wait on saving her. We got a bunch of jump first. We gotta dodge all these obstacles. Because down here is a film reel we need. There's the trademark Tarzan yell. And the reason we do this bungee jump is we're gonna go back into Pretty Young here to grab a, a couple extra reels. Because there's some, some gorillas that uh, will help you if you've done their bungee challenge. So we need to unlock the bungee challenge first, which is why we saved the baby monkeys. Yeah, the majority of this level is going to be done again. We're, we're coming up to the first alternate path. He's gonna yell at him and then he helps us. Right, got to jump a little early here. Make sure you don't jump over the reel. We just gotta work our way through this level as fast as we can to get to the second gorilla. jumping. <laughs> yeah, that guy up there in the top right, he, he throws barrels at you, but we just run past him, so we never see him throw barrels. <laughs> Alright, we yell here again. Throw his spear, just cut that open. And we got the seven, we can quit. Luckily, that's the only level in the entire game we have to do twice. From here on out, every level is done in a single run. And we got some, we got a surfing level in here. We're gonna abuse the physics of the game with a with a trick that I've called back bonking. Because for some reason, the back of Tarzan boards takes no damage whatsoever. Also, these games' physics are very weird. <laughs> We can as well get the first reel. I turned a little too early. It's okay, I can take the damage. We get in the original, we'll get this reel. Make sure I don't miss that. So yeah, as you might have seen, I missed that by quite a bit, but still got it. The, fortunately, the hitboxes for this are very generous. Jump here to avoid the rail because it's slower. Oh, here's number five. Right, 
there's number six. I usually slow down a bit when a reel's coming up just to make sure I get it. Because if I miss it, I have to do the entire level again. I'm gonna grab this banana for safety. Right, that's all eight. And here's the end. All right, so next up we got the first auto scroller of the game. Auto scroller, does that sound like I can do a donation? Yeah, you can do one. Okay, we got a five euro donation from Strive saying greetings from insert, insert country. Donation talk, blah, blah, blah. Love you all. No, really, I love these events. Giving me monthly almost fix of speed runs. Keep it up, guys. And this uh, donation was towards the Wayman Free Glitz exhibition. And we also got another donation incentive for Okami, which is a two player, one controller final boss. So if you want that to see happen, please donate. Do you see me do the reverse key a little? The, rever the, the left and right controls are actually reversed while you're reverse skiing. See, there's not much you can do here in terms of speed. Just make sure you don't miss a rail, uh, a reel, a film reel. Do we have time for another donation? Yeah, you can do another one. We got a 10 euro donation from Anonymous saying, best of luck everyone, and let's do this thing. Uh, wait for ground 100 and jump. Ooh, that's, that's the first auto scroller done. And now we got a boss fight, in quotations. Because it's just match B a bunch. And then very slowly, a button combination shows up. And that's boss fight done. So now we got another jungle exploration level, as the game calls it. Back to more movement optimization. Here we go. Jump grab. That was not meant to happen. Threw it a little bit too late. I'm right here though, so I don't lose too much time. Just punch him. There's a reel here we gotta grab. So first we save the baby monkeys, now we're gonna leave him. First we save the animals, now we're killing the animals. Have you seen 
the children. This jump is a little precise. Case in points. Have you seen the children? Have you seen the children? Come on now, game. Work with me here. There you go. All I had to do was ask. Could we see another one of these? I'm gonna grab the shield and then die. You'll still keep the real and I can go on the normal path now. There's just an intentional death we take, so, so we only have to do this level in one try. Oh, please don't randomly drop me here. Oh, you were my, you were nice to me. Yeah, right, that's number four. Have you seen the children? I'm gonna wait a bit here and then jump off at the very end. If you do this casually, you normally have spears during this. This is a taken intentional death here. We don't have spears now. Now we gotta do the button mashing mini game with beating an enemy that I mentioned earlier. So there's supposed to be a yellow bar going up, which represents the enemy. Uh, if that fills the bar before you, you take damage. Jump all the way up here. Right, now we're gonna do some... Now we're gonna dodge a, a bunch of things. Mostly branches. The reel, that's number seven. So we got all the reels we need. You can't actually fall through those gaps, by the way. Those are just textures. Oh, I took one hit. We go to that second level. The second jungle isolation level done. And here's the second auto scroller. Luckily, it's the last one. If it's an uh, auto scroller, shall I explain a little bit more about uh, the marathon? Uh, just a little bit. Because these two first two reels are kind of jerks. Sometimes you, they just don't. Let you grab him. Once we once we get the second reel, uh, you can talk. So that reel can easily bounce you off. So we just not get on it and jump near it. And there we go. We got it. Well, then I'm going to explain now a little bit about our marathon. We are a beneficiary of the Dutch Cancer Society, a charity organization that strives for less cancer, more research and a better quality of life for those already fighting the disease. 90% of our donations go towards the Dutch Cancer Society, so be sure to get your donations in. We're also hosting another marathon in Glasgow on December I don't think that's right, but if we reach 900 euros in donation, we will be the third biggest active contributor. So get your donations in. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna two more two more reels to go. I'm gonna grab this life up here. There's one more intentional death coming up in the next level. Jump at the end to get the final one. All right, so next up is Hunter's Trail, the longest level in the run. Okay, so first, first gorilla is right here. I jumped off too early. Throw, he captures it in a lasso, but we just break out of it. So that's it for the intentional deaths. Let's slide through this. We'll skip the... Skip that, I'll say goodbye <laughs> to that monkey. Hi monkey, bye monkey. Real rabbit jumping. Let's see if we can get this. No, didn't get it. So damage boosted instead. You can keep going and uh, not take damage from him, but it's kind of difficult. Kind of precise timing on that. Here's another one of those button matching encounters which is gonna run around them and leave him be. We're not taking him with us. The least we can do is break him out of his cage. Some more climbing. Have you seen the children? Now here, if you if you get onto this and jump immediately, you soft lock the level. Just throw a spear to kill that one. You punch this one. Then we throw a spear at that one. Climb up here. Luckily, this one's a lot easier to dodge. Just jump early and you mislead him. We got another lasso guy. So we're almost done here. Have you seen the children? And a couple of hippos. And here we are right at the end. Right. 
And we got the second boss fight. And if you get Deja Fruit from this, I don't blame you. Because it's the exact same thing as the first as the first one. Except they switch it up. They make it two hits, and the button combo is four buttons. The button combos are always the same, also, by the way. There's no RNG in that. So this is the only place in the game where Tarzan can swim. Everywhere else, he just drowns. But here he can swim for some unexplained reason. You don't need to mash this fast, by the way. I just do it just to make sure I mash as fast as... Uh, just mash fast enough. As long as you mash fast enough, it doesn't matter how fast you mash. Okay, so that's roll two done. Good show, my boy. These may just have the answers we need. Let's take a look. So there's a lot of story you miss by skipping the cutscenes. Basically, there's this. Uh, there's this, uh, this is an original story uh, separate from the movie. It's supposed to take place a few years after the uh, the original movie. And there's this. Uh, there's this guy called Oswald Gardner, who's uh, trying to capture uh, monkeys and bring them back to England and to study them there. So Tarzan is gonna try to stop them. There's a bunch of, uh, um, bunch of bear traps that are gonna be in this level. And this guy. You throw a spear at him, it, it doesn't actually kill him. He just, uh, he sees it coming and he hides under, but then we, we can run past him. So now instead of branches, we got crystals to dodge. Now we're back to saving the animals. Because we need to do this in order to beat the game. These rails are kind of flat, so rail jumping will not do much here. It's mostly on. It's mostly when you're uh, sliding downwards that rail jumping speeds you up. Okay, we're going to be using spears to disable the bear traps. The guy up there, jump over that bear trap. Jumping off of a rail and jumping immediately after immediately gets your running speed back. We try to keep running speed as much as possible. Right, so we stun him, jump over him and get out. Baby monkey number two. When you have a monkey on your back, you can't use your spears. So first we went into the caverns, now we're out. Thank goodness. 
So now here we have spiders. If you leave them be, they will put you in a cocoon and then try to, to suck you to death. They try to drain you to death. Do we just spear them to take them out immediately? And also, we keep jumping because as long as you're as long as you're in midair, as long as you're not on the ground, they can't cocoon you. Gotta do some more dodging here. I could take one hit because there's a set of bananas there. Bananas are your health in this game, and if you can pull up the uh, the UI with the HUD, it shows your health in the top left. So we're almost done here. Here's the final stretch. So now we have arguably the hardest level in the game. So back in the first uh, first surfing level, you saw me use a back bonking to to take corners uh, efficiently. There's two other uses we have for back bonking, which is what we're going to be using here: avoiding damage and maneuvering around obstacles. I'm going to take the safe path here. Take this this right path, swerve around, and back bonk and jump over the snake. Safety, you go around this pillar. You just do this right. There you go. I won't get hit by the fish. And now that we're in the final area of the game, we don't need any film reels anymore, so we don't have to be uh, on the lookout for that. I've got 13 health left. I didn't know where I was just then. Guess I can show that off as well. You can do uh, tricks as well in this. And we got some snakes coming up. Fortunately, I dodged them, so I made it. We have one, one more level, and then it's the final boss. One more level, one in between bit, and then this is the final boss. More crystals. There's no way to avoid this encounter. We just kind of have to take it. It's a bit unfortunate the uh, 
The animation for finishing the enemy off is a little long. Okay, that spear was horrible. That spear throw was horrible. Uh, where am I? We've got a very precise jump coming up. Got it. You only have a couple frames after you land on there to dodge that shot. Going up. There we go, dodge everything on that one. Oh, that jump was a little early. So it's monkey number one. This is always a scary climb. Damn, it still got me. That's what uh, being cocooned looks like. Oh, why did you jump there? Luckily, there's spears right there, so... Past that guy. Hello. Oh this is a little hard to see. I usually take damage there. Kind of climb around this. <laughs> right, so now we got the third monkey with us. Skip another cutscene. So we find that the way is blocked and we need to find an alternate path. But that alternate path is uh, requires us to get help from uh, from the baboons, which means we have to do this bungee challenge. And this one's fairly difficult. Because it can go pretty fast. There we go, first try. Now we got one more level, and then the final boss. Fortunately, this alternate path is very early on, so we don't need to do much of this level.
there's this alternate path up here. Up here. We yell again. I get hit on purpose to interrupt the animation. Then I kill the guy off, and we uh, run away to the final, the final stage. The elephant graveyard. And then there's the same pattern follows through. So now we have three hits to do, and we have five button combos. Oh, I messed it up the first time. <laughs> yeah, small white bl blue bar fills. That's the time you have to input the uh, the combination. If you make a mistake, you have to input the combo from the from the beginning, from left to right. Right. So final hit. Time is going to be when the, on the final button input on this uh, on this last five button combo. Oh, come on! Ta oh, oh, damn it! <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't know how to button, apparently. But time. <laughs> Enjoy the ending cutscene. Yeah, but we skipped them. We they're, they're cinematic cutscenes, but we skipped them on the first frame. Throughout the game. So that is Disney Stars Entertainment, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the run. And I also hope you enjoyed the rest of the event. Well, thank you, Luigi, for that amazing.